started sacrificing our bodies out there a little bit, and uh, the results speak for themselves. Uh, man, wow, I did not expect that question, but uh, yeah, no, it definitely um, kind of brings that nostalgia feeling of, of uh, what happened, but uh, you know, I think that's the beauty of life. We get a chance to redeem ourselves and come back to places that I feel a little uncomfortable. And, um, you know, his spirit was definitely in the building tonight. And uh, just grateful we get a chance to to do this as a, as a squad where we prove to ourselves and to everybody that's watching us that, you know, we're a, rec we're a squad to be reckoned with when we're playing uh, the way we play tonight and clicking on all cylinders. But uh, I think now, um, as we look forward, I, I think some of the advice that I'll probably get from him is just putting a full, complete game together. And, um, you know, just not necessarily about the results. It's about the preparation and what goes into it night to night and uh, not getting too high and not getting too low and just staying the course. East Coast basketball at its finest. You know, people just yelling random shit from the crowd. Want a, want a reaction, they got one. I think I tapped the wrong person, so I apologize to the random guy that I tapped. You know, he looked at me uh, with a big surprise on his face, <laughs> a surprising look on his face, so I didn't, I didn't mean to tap him. But somebody said something, I was just, just, I was just fed up with our performance. And, um, you know, I've, I've dealt with kind of this East Coast, type of attitude in, in games since I was, you know, seven, eight years old. So I've, I've been in the trenches, as they would say, uh, growing up, playing in different boroughs, being a Jersey kid, not getting respect from New York uh, basketball until, um, you know, I just stopped giving a, a F about what their opinion was, and I just started repping the best way I knew how. So, um, you know, it's just always a mutual respect across uh, the, the basketball culture out here. Um, you know, I, I fall in line with a lot of great guards that have come from the New York City area, New Jersey area, you know, tri-state area. So I uh, just want to put on a good show. I know my Uncle Rod was in the building tonight, sitting courtside. Uh, you know, it just it just means a lot to me uh, when I could rep from where I'm from, you know, which is my family comes from Mitchell Projects in the Bronx, New York. And we moved out to New Jersey. Um, but I spent Dang it, every weekend here in New York City, trying to prove myself day after day on the playgrounds, Gaucho's Gym, against Riverside Hawks, um, against Kips Bay, against all the, you know, New York guys that are in my generation. So um, just feel like I'm, I'm leading the right way. <clears throat> Man, I just need to let loose some of that energy, honestly. Because we were we were in a you know a hole throughout most of the game, and um, you know I just kept telling our guys that this is our game, this is our game, and and you know when you believe in that mantra, um, you know good things can can either go your way or uh, you know just you can live with just putting your imprint on the game, you know. So uh, we knew we could play better, and waving to the crowd was just like, hey, we'll see you guys uh, next year. Uh, I feel like we collaborate a lot uh, in small conversations throughout the game, and we've been able to grow with one another, um, you know, this year more than, than the other years, just, just you know, towards the end of the season because we, we, know how, we know how much this matters to us and to other guys, of course, but, you know, the other guys are looking to us for uh, either inspiration, motivation, or just telling them positive things. And we don't want our, we don't want to let our frustration show on our faces at all, or show on our body language. And um, sometimes it's inevitable, right? You know, in the motion, in the moment. But with, with him specifically, um, you know, we we were born to play this game at a very high level. He's seen so many things in this league. I have as well. Um, you know, he has a few years on me in terms of uh, his experiences. So I really lean in on him, and then um, he just knows I'm, I'm a killer alongside him. So uh, he could be hard on me, and he could say, you know, almost anything he, he wants in the heat of the moment, uh, <laughs> you know. But we just know we could demand excellence out of one another, and we just 
want to uh, have that energy carry on to the rest of the group. So we're finding our balance right now, finding our groove. Um, and, and when we do, we, we can climb out of holes, you know, like this, but we don't want to necessarily be in situations like this. Of course, of course. I really don't give an explanation. I, you know, you guys know me. I, I'm like, I throw darts in the air and just wait for people to assume whatever they want. <laughs> They're like, am I lying? Yeah. It's like, what, what could he possibly be talking about? Is he talking about this? So, you know, we have our own. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, the sarcasm, right? Yeah. But uh, K hands it a certain type of way. And, you know, I think one of the funniest things that I see out there is probably from Knicks fans is just like, you know, me and K are perfect for each other because of the way we respond on social sometimes. Um, but I think it's all in good fun, you know. And uh, they had a good chance of getting us, um, you know, back in free agency. But we just felt like we wanted to build here and uh, just make our mark on, on this on this franchise. And, um, you know, I don't think we regret our decision. I, um, and we just want to live with really leaning on each other and making sure this is successful for us. Oh, thank you. Man, that's a loaded question. So I'm not trying to <laughs> sit up here and uh, spew out the, the reasons why I felt like I deserved to be on the top 75. Um, I think I'll wait for that, you know, once my career is over and, uh, you know, maybe uh, on the 100th anniversary, I could be on that team. You know, you don't know unless they expand the, the group. But uh, I'm grateful for uh, every it, you know, everybody in, in our basketball culture recognizing some of the greatest players to play our game. And uh, if I'm up there with some of those guys, you know, I don't, I don't take it for granted. You know, it's a lot of lonely nights uh, in the gym, a lot of sacrifices of time, you know, being away from my family, being away from friends, not having the ideal childhood uh, that everybody else has had, sort of say, uh, you know, being a college dropout from Duke um, and, and just not being able to, you know, live what they say a normal life, you know, which you get a nine to five and you, know, you pour into your passion. So this right here is a special game and uh, it's rewarded a lot of people. Um, so if I could etch my name or, you know, be up there with some of the greats, I feel like I'm, I'm leaving the legacy I want to leave. And um, it's just a lot of hard work that goes into it. So I'm grateful for that honor. We gonna let the girl. We gonna let the woman go. We gonna let the woman go. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, I, I think I'll leave it to the conspiracy theories. I think I was on the list, but I guess I'm not. So, uh, you know, hey, like I said, maybe I, I'll just wait ten years, twenty years from now. Um, you know, hopefully with a few championships under my belt and uh, talking with you guys uh, on the court when we raise a few banners here in New Jersey or Brooklyn, uh, same thing. And, um, you know, that's what it's about. It's not necessarily about proving to anybody why I deserve to be on that list. Um, you know, I, I know that I have a lot more work to do in this league, and uh, I just want to leave it there. So just let my game speak for itself. You know, I love being skilled, but... Uh, by the time I leave and retire, I want to be known as a winner and a championship winner of a, of a few of those things and doing with a great group of guys, great organization, um, you know, that believe in me and believe in my talents and, you know, the rest will be written by itself. Appreciate it.